Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we're taking a look at a Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 SUV modified with an EMG humbucker and preamp. Let's check this thing out. This is a Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 SUV modified with an EMG HZ passive ceramic humbucker and an EMG BQC three band preamp with a dedicated mid sweep. So this is a fully featured preamp and an EMG passive humbucker, not an active one. I specifically chose this pickup because all the other pickups are passive. So that's a passive ceramic humbucker paired with an EMG BQC three band preamp. The pickup retails for $109 and the preamp retails for $179 for a total of $288. That is about $8 more expensive than the Nordstrand combo and $10 more expensive than the Aguilar combo. Those are the ones we've checked out thus far. This is actually the third most expensive preamp out of all eight examples that we have here coming at $179. The Bartolini is more expensive at $196, and then the John East preamp is $230. For controls, we have a master volume, a stacked mid and mid frequency control, so that's a variable mid sweep, and then you have a treble and bass stack. This is really a fully featured preamp, and on top of that, there's two dip switches on the PCB, which you can access if you take the preamp out, and those give you access to different treble EQ settings, different EQ curves, if you will. Now, I know you guys are wondering, what does this thing sound like? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. <laughs> that was with the preamp centered and this thing sounds really good. This is one of my favorites. Now the installation of the preamp did require a little bit of modification to the control cavity. I did make a separate video where I showed how I mounted it on the control cavity. However, the PCB was still touching the shielding paint on the side a little bit and causing a bit of a short and was not a good time. So I had to clear out a little bit of that material around the PCB in order to prevent that contact and now it's fine. And I used my trusty Dremel for that. Now another control configuration you could go with if you wanted to utilize a two-band preamp is to get the EMG BTC preamp and utilize the tone control that is paired with the pickup when you buy it. So then you would have a volume, tone, and then the two-band preamp. Anyways, let's listen to this with the EQ centered one more time. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So in regards to these controls, there are no push pulls. So what you see is what you get. However, I do believe there's a separate switch option to allow you to switch between series parallel and single coil on the pickup, but that's not installed here. Now let's go ahead and cut the preamp entirely. See what that sounds like. Pretty good, pretty good. So as I mentioned, you do have a variable mid sweep here, which comes into effect when you cut or boost the mids. And since the mids are cut right now, let's play with that a little bit.
Not bad, not bad at all. We'll be checking that out in more detail when we take a deeper look at this mid control. But first, let's check out this treble and bass. Here's the bass centered with everything else cut. Yeah, that sounds really good. Now let's boost the bass control to about 50%. Nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the bass control and let's center the treble control. Yeah. That's good. Not too bad. It doesn't really sound harsh, and I dig it. Now let's boost the treble to 50%. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep the treble at 50% and bring the bass in at center. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the mid control. So I'm going to cut the treble and the bass and center the mids. So just the mid centered, no treble or bass. <laughs> the mids to 50%. <laughs> Not bad. Now let's go ahead and center the treble and the bass control while keeping the mids at 50% with that particular sweep setting. Mm. 
Not bad, not bad at all. This has some meat to it. Beef. Now, let's send her the EQ and see how she slaps. <laughs> try that one more time but let's scoop the mids a bit and play with that mid sweep oh yeah this is nice this is a nice setup <laughs> this sounds good. Now, let's see what this sounds like with some drums behind it. So move you over here to beat the So here are my final thoughts on the passive EMG pickup combined with the BQC preamp. Overall, I think this is a very impressive package. Pricing wise, it's on the higher end of the middle of the road of all the combos that we have here. However, I personally think it's worth it. The EMG pickup sounds great in my opinion, even though it's a ceramic and you usually expect an El Nico in, an, in a Music Man pickup. However, this ceramic does not let down, and it sounds really good. On top of that, this BQC preamp gives you a load of flexibility with its dedicated mid-sweep and 3-band EQ. Not too shabby. Now, as I mentioned, there was some modification involved, as the PCB for this particular preamp is a lot larger than what you would find on the BTC, which is the 2-band preamp. So the BQC is the larger PCB. Oh, that rhymes. So the BQC has the larger PCB, and you have to do some modding. <laughs> oh.
Oh man. So with the larger PCB of the BQC preamp, I did have to route away a little bit of the control cavity to make space. Otherwise, there was some shorting on the PCB and it made some weird sounds and it wasn't fun. However, overall, the level of modding was relatively minor and I think the final result was it's pretty excellent. One nice thing about EMG Electronics, they do come with their own knobs, though some will complain about them. I don't think they're the worst knobs on the planet. We'll save that for the Bartolini's. Oops. <clears throat> but the pickup install was a breeze, and if you went with the BTC preamp, I don't think you would require any modding, and on top of that, you could also get a passive tone control in there that comes with the EMG pickup. So overall, whichever way you want to go, I think this is a great package. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about my EMG SUB. And as always, until we groove again.